depth of how I annotate frames of video. I'm using RoboFlow, which has some really nice annotation tools based on Facebook's uh, SAM model, which stands for Segment Anything Now. But anyway, it uh, speeds up the annotation process greatly um, because you can click on things and uh, Sam does a really good job of guessing um, uh, what it is that you're uh, clicking on and trying to group it all together. Um, and so here I can say it's a little bit more there. Yep, that all looks pretty good. Um, that skin. So I'm just labeling each of the uh, six categories. Uh, so these here are shoes. I mean, this is only going to have five categories because the sixth category only is when there's uh, the gun. Let's see here, here. And that's one frame of video. And that's how long it takes to do one frame for right now. Uh, and then you can click and uh, go right to the next frame. I forgot to lock the zoom. Um, can lock it and yep just oh, uh, hold on let me I shouldn't have done that because I should have gotten a little bit more of the shirt let me go ahead and do that uh, RoboFlow does a really nice job of um, giving you uh, keystrokes so that you can drive most of this from the keyboard um, so I'll click on a space that I want. If it grabbed too much, you click on within the boundaries to set a negative mark. And then if it didn't grab enough, then you can click again to add another positive mark outside. But that all looks pretty good. Um, once you have it all um, marked uh, for what you want, then uh, you just hit, uh, it's a little bit too much, I want a little more hair. Uh, that was fine. Okay. Then you can hit enter. Oh, come on, it didn't grab it. There we go. Uh, then you can hit enter and then uh, click or type on the annotation that you want. And then that's all skin. I want these two, but not that. It's going to be hair. And these two, but not that. It's going to be shoes, just like that. And so then you can um, look through and, and see all the frames that you have so far. Um, and all the annotations I've got. Golly, I've got a lot of, uh, <laughs> a lot of images left to do. Uh, over 700 in this group, over 400 there, over 200 there. But um, I've already done 96, and then I've got a bunch waiting in the wings, so I'm a little over 100 right now. But um, this, is, uh, this is what the data looks like. This can be used to train a machine learning model. Uh, that's what RoboFlow is built uh, to do, actually. Um, but <laughs> we can actually just uh, pull these down and uh, process them with uh, Python or um, other programs to um, take them and take these uh, segmented machine learning data files and just break them up into uh, pixel art. Uh, this is using nearest neighbor, but I uh, um, uh, made a couple other methods that that um, break it up in a in a I think a much better way so I was pretty happy with coming up with this algorithm I think it makes it look a lot more like pixel art than the uh, just the standard shrinking I don't think that looks very good uh, to do a no normal one so I uh, wrote this uh, custom algorithm that I think does a pretty good job of breaking it all up um, and um, yeah I think it looks pretty nice anyway that's a brief overview of how I'm annotating the images now. Uh, it's um, AI assisted, but it's not fully automated yet. It goes pretty quick, uh, but 
um, when and if uh, we manage to train a machine learning model, it should hopefully go a lot faster. So uh, that's that. And all the source code is up on GitHub. Um, and so anybody can feel free to download it and use it, uh, chip in, or just enjoy it or use it for other things. So thanks. Bye.